Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and another batch of WA 2K20 news, as today we have full details on all the online improvements coming to this year's game, including the return of online lobbies. Before we get into any of that though, if you're new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay up to date with all the latest WA 2K20 news. So with that out the way, let's jump straight into this year's online improvements as 2K have listened to fan feedback and went about making changes to improve the online sections in 2K20, with the first of those changes being the return of online lobbies. Now this is something that fans have been calling for for years, ever since it was removed from the series on last gen, as these online lobbies allow players to manually search for online matches rather than relying on the automated matchmaking system. Using the new lobbies feature, players can create their own custom lobby for a wide variety of different match types and rules, with the ability to have up to 6 players in total. Alongside the ability to customise the match type and the match rules, players also have the ability to choose the arena, the superstar genders, and whether or not fair play is enabled, which if it is, then this will restrict players to using in-game characters with default movesets to help stop people gaining an advantage. Additionally, players can also choose to set their lobby as either public or private, with the option also included to set up a private lobby initially before then making it public to help fill the remaining spots. Other improvements to the lobby system to that seen on last gen includes the ability to voice chat with those in your lobby prior to the match beginning, as well as players now having full visibility to see any changes made before the match starts. Alongside creating your own lobby, players also have the option to search through the available lobbies, with a search option also including various filters to help find a specific kind. For players that aren't too fussy about the match they play, then there's also a quick play option included, which will see the game search for the most suitable opponent and then add you to that match automatically. Moving on, let's talk Road to Glory, as this is also a mode in which 2K have listened to fan feedback and all the complaints about the rewards and how they were locked to your My Player. Therefore, this year, any creation parts that you unlock in Road to Glory or any of the other My Player modes will also be available to use in the regular creation suite. In addition to this, not only does this year's My Career mode feature both male and female My Players, but this also extends to Road to Glory and the My Player Towers, as not only can you use both your male and female characters in the modes, but this year, Road to Glory's special pay-per-view events will also feature female matches for the very first time, as previously the mode only featured male superstars. Finally, players now have the ability to export the appearance of their My Player into Create a Superstar, where they can then use them in the likes of Exhibition and Universe. Up next, we're talking daily match challenges, as also new to online is the addition of tonight's match, which sees a specific match type offered up each day, featuring different match rules, genders, and arenas, with this example being a women's triple threat TLC match, with edited and created superstars allowed. As for the Road to Glory match challenges, similar to the regular tonight's match option, this is also available in Road to Glory, however this option will toggle back and forth between male and female matches to allow you to use both of your My Players frequently. Lastly, we also have the addition of Dota V Originals to the online menu, which would appear to be original specific lobbies, however 2K have announced that we'll also see Dota V Originals content popping up in both tonight's match, Road to Glory's featured matches, and the daily My Player Towers, even if you don't own the Originals DLC. That means that even if you don't buy the content, then you may occasionally find yourself playing matches in the Wyatt Swamp Arena or the Cemetery Brawl Arena as part of that day's featured match, which is a great way for people who aren't interested in the DLC initially to try it out and then potentially be tempted to buy it. So there you go, that is all of the updates coming to the online section of Dota A 2K20, including fan requested features such as online lobbies, usable rewards outside of My Player, the ability to export your My Player, and so on. All in all, I think the changes sound really good, especially the return of match lobbies and the ability to use creation part rewards in Create Superstar, as this actually gives people a reason to play Road to Glory, especially creators, as it allows them to unlock additional parts that they can then use outside of the mode when creating custom superstars. However, I will say that as good as these changes are, my only hope is that the servers have also been improved, as there's no point in making all these changes if the connection is still unplayable. Anyway guys, that's my thoughts on the changes, but let me know in the comments what you think about them, and if you're new to the channel, then I would love it if you could hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to join us, and stay up to date with all the latest Dota V 2K20 news. Until next time though, I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.